I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on distance, time and speed. We have taken a few examples based on train. Here is a very interesting case where we will see when will the train meet when they are going to and fro between two points. The question here is two toy trains A and B are moving along a hundred meter parallel track to and fro with constant speed of 2 km per hour and 3 km per hour respectively. Both trains start at 12 noon from the south end. So we'll assume that this is the track form, right? So between these two points, we'll say that is the track. We'll call this as our south end and so we'll call that as our north end, right? The distance between this is 100 meters, right? So when we say 100 meters, we mean 0 0.1 kilometer, correct? Divided by 1000, right? So 100 meters or 0 0.1 kilometers. So these two trains are traveling from here and they start, both trains start at 12 noon from the south end. So let's say at 12 noon, they start. Now three parts of this question are, a. How many times will they meet in the first 10 minutes? B. How far is train A from the starting point when they meet at the first time and at the second time? Right. C is when will they be together at the starting point? That is the south end. Correct. You can pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now it covers a lot. I'll try to provide the complete solution within this small space and I, I hope you'll understand the concepts. So we are taking these toy trains, let's say A is moving at 2 kilometers per hour, right? So A is moving at 2 kilometers per hour, which is slower. B on the other hand is moving faster. It is moving at 3 kilometers per hour. So when will they meet? So we can say that B is traveling faster. So you can see like this, that B covers the whole distance, right? They are going to and fro. That means B will turn from here, correct? Something like this. And A is still traveling in this direction. And they meet. So let this be the first time when they meet. So let's call this point as a, right? So let's say this point when they meet is A and we need to figure out when will this happen, correct? That is what we have seen. Okay. Now if you consider this, then the total distance is twice 100 meters. Do you see that? One train covers more than 100 meters. The other train covers less than 100 meters. So on its return journey, it meets, right? So that is what is happening, right? So, um, so they meet at point, let's not call this as A, since we are calling trains as A and B. So let's say we call this as M, okay, M1. So first time they meet, right? So basically we can figure out when do they meet. Now, total distance when they meet will be 100 plus 200 meters or 0 0.2 kilometers. Do you see that? So we have to convert units. Either we convert uh, meters to kilometers or we convert kilometers per hour to meters per minute, something like this. Okay. So either way, so let's convert this distance to kilometers. That's simpler. So twice 0.1 will be two kilometers. Now, if you see that the relative speed relative speed is how much if you see that we are talking about a total speed this distance is covered by one train moving at 3 the other one at 2 right so more or less half of distance is being covered one slightly more the other one slightly less so we'll say that within this time the speed collectively is 5 kilometers per hour right so in such situations that is how you will consider the net speed. So I should call this as the net speed. Okay. Now, 
if that is the speed and this is the distance then the time taken t is distance divided by the speed and so it has to be 0 0.2 over 5 in hours correct 0 0.2 over 5 so when you divide this you get 0. Point, now that is 0 20 divided by 5 is 4 hours so it means it is 0 0.04 hours when they meet for the first time correct now we can convert this to uh, minutes so let's do conversion so that means 0 0.04 times 60 right okay so 4 times 6 is 24 right so we get 240 right and you multiply and we have to put two decimals so that means 2.4 minutes so they will meet after 2.4 minutes for the first time does it make sense to you so that is the first meeting so let me call this as m1 the question here is how many times will they meet in the first 10 minutes so that means after 2.4 minutes they will meet for the first time now second time when the, when will they meet second time what happens is this train goes further and it's going to return while the other train again comes back well that means this time we have covered a distance of 400 meters right so both have covered the same distance so it will be twice this do you understand so for the second time meeting time taken will be what time taken will be twice 0 0.04 right so it'll be twice 0 0.04 or you can say that that will be from the starting point it will be 4.80 minutes do you get the idea right so second time they will again take 2.4 minutes to meet that's the whole idea okay so that is the time when they are going to take to meet every time in this given scenario right so in 10 minutes how many times will they meet that is the whole idea so we can actually follow this pattern and we can say well if that is the case then the third meeting will be at 2.4 to this so we get 4.8 plus 2.4 which is equal to 7.2 and again next time we'll add 7.2 with 2.4 and we get what we get 9.6 so that means they can meet four times within first 10 minutes you get the idea right so for the first 10 minutes they are going to meet this fifth time when they meet the time will be 9.6 plus 2.4 and 4 and 6 is 10 0 and 1 and we get 12 right which is more right so these are in minutes so as per the requirement they are actually meeting four times in 10 minutes right this is 12 minutes which is more than 10 and therefore the answer for this is four times and they meet after every 2.4 minutes is that point clear to you right that is how we can answer part a so i hope this concept is absolutely clear so it's very simple basically you take twice the distance because the total distance covered is twice the given distance and the speed is also at their speeds right because for covering the space both trains are moving and so they're and they're covering the same distance in parts right so effectively four or five kilometers per hour is the speed and we get that they will meet after every 2.4 minutes right so that is how we'll do part a is that clear to you perfect part b how far is train a from the starting point when they meet at the first time and at the second time okay so that is relatively simple now let's see how to answer this okay so uh, let me take another pen okay part b now let's find the time when they meet we know the time is 2.4 minutes basically we need to figure out distance traveled by a
in 2.4 minutes that is it right so that is what we are interested in okay well since we know or we can say or 0.04 hours 0.04 hours so here using hours is better since we know that the speed is given in hours 2 kilometers per hour correct so we know that the distance traveled by a will be 2 kilometers per hour times 0.04 kilo uh, hours correct so hours hour cancel so we get our units in kilometers which is 0.08 kilometers now when i say 0.08 kilometers multiplying by 1000 gives us 800 meters 80 meters sorry multiplying by 1000 gives us 80 meters so how far is train a from the starting point when they meet that means this distance is 80 meters for their first meeting right so that is what we get so first time it is 80 meters is it clear now second time let's see what happens now for the second time distance uh, of a this is the first time second time will it be will be how much well it will travel another 80 meters correct since it has to travel again for 2.4 or you could actually multiply 4.8 this time by the speed 2 kilometers per hour so 2 times 4.8 is same as 0 0.08 right so twice this right 0 0.08 and that will give you 160 meters correct now when i say distance traveled by a is 160 meters it means what well it means that this time train a will cover the whole distance of 100 meters and return 60 meters right so that is 160 meters so the distance from this will be 200 minus 160 which is 40 meters is that clear to you right so for the second time distance from a will be 40 meters is that clear to you so 40 meters remain perfect so the answer is 80 meters for the first time and distance from a equals to 200 minus 160 which is 40 meters is that clear to you since the other train is now returning and has already traveled 100 plus 60 and 40 remains from point starting point a does make sense to you right so how far the train a is from the starting point train a is 80 meters away when they meet for the first time and 40 meters away when they meet at the second time is that clear to you perfect now let us try to understand how to figure out when will they be together at the starting point right so let's look into this scenario once again what we learned was that this is our track which goes from south to north and it is 100 meters track or 0 0.1 kilometer track is it clear now we're finding that they meet after every 0 0.04 hours we say the distance is 0 0.2 when they meet since one of the trains will have to go up and come down a bit the other one which is slower will only cover distance from one side so in this time total distance traveled is basically equal to 0.2 kilometers right and effective speed let me write effective speed right is basically equal to sum of these two which is 5 kilometers per hour and therefore time taken will be 0 0.2 divided by 5 which gives you in hours 0 0.04 hours correct so that is the time so we also notice that every 0 0.04 hours the trains meet so this is very important to understand right? so every 0 0.04 hours 
train meet right so now so that means how much do, and when do they meet we just figured out that also when do they meet and what is the distance of each train from the starting point correct so so basically we figured out that they meet at uh, intervals of uh, 0.04 hours then 0.08 hours 0. add 4 right so 1 2 hours 0. add 0. 0.16 hours right and 0. you can say 20 hours right so after so much of time they are meeting now this is the first time they meet right this is the second time so there are multiples of 0. 0.04 when they are meeting right so every time they are collectively covering a distance of 200 meters or 0.2 kilometers is that clear to you right so um, so first time second time third time fourth time uh, sorry fourth time and then this is fifth time correct so we just found that we also were calculating one more thing and that was let me write down here which is distance from south from here right south and how did we figure this out distance from south was figured by finding the position of a by finding the position of a at these intervals of time right so so we can actually write position of a a position at these points right so to get the position of a we have to multiply the speed of the train a which is two kilometers per hour so if you multiply this by two kilometers per hour you get the position as 0 0.08 kilometers right that is in kilometers perfect if you multiply this you get 0 0.16 here multiplying by 2 we get 0 0.24 multiplying by 2 we get 0 0.32 and here multiplying by 2 we get 0 0.40 and that is in kilometers do you see that now you notice that at this interval a has traveled 0.4 kilometers or it is 400 meters that means a is back at its original position so that is the fifth meeting right first second third fourth and fifth meeting when they are at the same position correct and this meeting is after 0.2 hours does make sense to you right so in minutes we were we know this means what in minutes we can just convert this so it is 0 0.2 hours times 60 that gives us minutes and when you multiply 2 times 6 it is 120 right Point 0.0 that gives you in minutes correct so that means at 12 12 p.m. both trains will be at south starting point does make sense to you so after 12 minutes basically they will be at the starting point perfect so